Hey guys, if you're new one, and once again, I'm bringing you a Walking Dead character bio, and this time we're talking about James. Yes, because James and Lily could basically die in the same episode. Let's just deal with James first. See, James was a whisperer, but he left his clan after they wanted to do something that he really didn't want to do. But you don't really get more into his whole story until episode three. In fact, we get very little about him in episode two. In episode three, you learn that he killed a boy, and after killing someone, basically just because they were, I think, questioning the plan, he realized what he had become. Hence, he ran completely in the opposite direction and basically became a pacifist. I, I say basically, but he's not truly a pacifist. We still see some of his old ways, especially if he survives to episode four. But James was actually a pretty interesting character that I kind of wish we saw more of because we barely get much of him. We have a little bit in episode two, and then we have the scene with the barn in episode three. Obviously, he has a lot to do with the whole attack against the Delta boat because he was the one who gathered all those walkers. But as James himself, we just get very little about his details and character. So what is his main characteristic? It's not being a pacifist. As we've seen, he can actually fight when he's ready. What it really is, is he's Herschel. You guys remember Herschel from episode one of season one, right? Well, he's also a comic book character and Herschel is actually kind of like James. Or should I say James is kind of like Herschel because Herschel also kept the walkers in the, in the barn because he believed, like James, or James like him, that the walkers actually had a little bit of the human part left in them. Herschel, like James, even kept walkers in a barn. But here's the problem with taking a character that has this thought during the more beginning of the outbreak, because I believe Herschel was like three months into the outbreak when Rick and his team met him, and putting them into a character like James that is about seven years, at least, I believe, into the outbreak. That's a problem. So I just found it was a little unrealistic to have someone that still had Herschel's whole, the walkers still have something in them after this long. It just didn't make sense because even the Whisperers didn't have that type of mentality. As James said, the Whisperers kind of just used the walkers as weapons. So it doesn't make sense for me that James still has this mentality after being in the outbreak so long. I would think that after seeing the outbreak so long, you would realize that these things are basically just mindless zombies. So even though I know understand what they were going for, it kind of just didn't make sense in this setting. But James was still an interesting character that I kind of wish they did a little bit more with because he was kind of a waste if he lives because you have this whole turnaround where he's willing to take AJ from Clem and it just didn't make any sense. I really actually just wish that they didn't even have his death scene at all because his whole episode four was just a let's get rid of him scene. Basically, either by him abandoning them or staying back to protect them when the walkers came. So I just feel like James was a little bit wasted because he, he seemingly was a deep character that ended up just being kind of shallow. He really just tells you his story, helps you out in the attack against Delta, and then either he can die or he can turn on you. No more, no less, really. I really think that if they had had the Delta, like the full Delta, it would have been cool seeing maybe James sneak in, maybe with walkers to the actual Delta camp. I don't know. I really think that they should have done a little bit more with James. Because when we met him, he was filled with such intrigue. Then, it's like, eh. But what do you guys think about James? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.